if you're a new crappie fisherman or new to crappie fishing, there's a lot of little things that may help you out. One thing is, is don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't drop into a 40, 50, 60, 70,000 acre lake and um, have no electronics and run around and try to find crappie at the wrong time of year. The best thing you can do for yourself is some research. On the Parks and Wildlife websites, look up the species and look at the behavior of the species throughout the year. You can pick up a lot just reading articles about the fish species biology. Right, that's gonna help you understand where they should be located at certain times of the year, when they should be shallower, when they are gonna go deeper, when you might find them in the creeks, and then when you might find them around docks or marinas and stuff like that. And there's always variables on every lake. All lakes fish different. So, that being said, one good way to fish for crappie if you're brand new is to pick up neighborhood lakes, little small soil conservation reservoirs, um, little areas, private ponds, things that you can get to that you know someone else can tell you there's crappie in there. What that does is kind of like creek fishing. It, it, it isolates the crappie to a small body of water and it makes it a little bit easier to catch them if you have to fish from the bank. Or, you know, a kayak can extend your range, but also, you know, kayaks are limiting as well. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go um, to a pond that you would have found on Google Maps. I actually knew this pond existed already. Um, there's several, there's a series of ponds kind of around these, they're little small neighborhood lakes. I'm gonna go to those and drop in the kayak and see if I can catch some crappie. Now I've never fished here before. I just heard rumors that there's crappie there. I figured I'd just throw the kayak in, go fish this pond and see if it's true. See if there's crappie in there. And then what I wanna also see is I may use the kayak and I may use my tools to isolate the fish, locate the fish, but it's gonna give me a really good indication of whether I can come back to this same lake or pond and fish from the bank. Um, and catch crappie with a slip cork. So that's a whole nother idea. Um, it's gonna give me just by bringing my kayak the first time. So let's go drop this kayak into one of these ponds, see if there's some crappie here, and hopefully we'll get lucky. And I plan to do a lot more of these. There's a lot of ponds and isolated waters here in the DFW area, soil conservation reservoirs, little lakes, and I'm gonna start Google mapping those suckers and just hitting them hard. So here's number one. This particular little neighborhood lake has a little boat slip or a little kayak launch or I don't know what they want to call it, but it's concrete. It's really shallow though. I had to wear my waders to get the kayak out of the truck. I don't mind that, but eh, I prefer to be wearing tennis shoes or something versus my waders. Let's get out here and see what we can find. Maybe there's crappie in this lake, maybe there ain't. We're not gonna know until we get out here and try. I didn't bring a stringer or anything, so we're not keeping today. We're just gonna fish. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. See what we can do here. I'll turn that. Got that. Need this. Clippy deal here that you got a kill switch. There we is. Gotta turn this motor on. Hang on. Alright, let's see what we got for electronics. Should we do? I'm gonna go out here and see what we can find. Try not to waste too much time doing it. Oh man, what is that? That is good. That looks like money. That, my friend, is what you're looking for right there. I don't even know what that is. But whatever it is, if there's crappie in this lake, it, it ought to be on that. Oh man, don't tell me they're finicky on jigs. Oh, I got a bite. Okay, that's what we were looking for, a bite. We 
start we start with a bite start with a bite and go from there if they don't want this jig we can definitely 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 go get some minnows I've never seen crappie be as anti-jig as these pond crappie around here are. They are so finicky. So I got an eighth ounce down there with a big old blob bonehead nasty jig on it. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. I heard him. Money. That's, that's the fish we're looking for. That's what's down there. Whole school of them. Ooh, he splashed me right in the face. I deserved it. Because I hooked him. I deserved it. Dude, with minnows, you'd kill it right here. Kill it with minnows. There he is, another one. What we got? Is he a big one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, another nice one. Look at another nice black. All right, that's number two. They like the chartreuse. We can switch some colors up, see if it makes a difference. Those are pretty fish get him out there far enough he ain't gonna splash me to death pretty fish got him there we go starting to get him fired up oh, that's a nice one they're all definitely above keeper size probably pushing 12 plus on every fish so far beautiful All right. He's looking at, there he goes. Oh, and I missed him. Ah, I missed him. All right, let's see something. All right, right now we are running. We, we didn't know if we had crappie before. So right now we're running chartreuse. It's really a bright color. I'm gonna go to black shad. It's a dark color. So this is gonna block out more light. Uh, when they look up at it, it's gonna blot out the sunlight. Uh, better color for sunny situations or muddy situations there's a few places I'd like to use this bait now unfortunately looks like those crappie got behind us a little bit so we'll have to fish out backwards a little but I want to see how they respond to this different color we got a few taps caught a couple fish on chartreuse Let's see if we can get them to bite this this darker one a little bit easier keep it above them nope couldn't keep it above them guy fish on first drop oh yeah look at that money ah. money 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 nice crappie they're pretty uniform in size looks like solid 12s um all right, let's see if that's a fluke or not. Uh, Got him on the first drop with Black Shad. Let's see if uh, we keep using it, keep dropping it. The fish keep responding. See if anything will hit it. Ooh, oh, I got one. He sat on it. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a nice one, guys. That right there is about a 13 and a half. That's a good one. That's a real good one. There's some nice sized fish down there. He didn't, uh, that one right there, he didn't um, snap it. He just went over there and put it in his mouth and sat on it. And uh, felt a little bit of weight. Lifted up, and he was on. Come on, nice fish in there. Get down to those big ones on the bottom. 
want something to eat. Look at that. He just sucked it in. Put it in his face and he just sucked it in. All black crappie here, guys. No white crappie. But there's crappie. And to show you, you know, it's just a public place. It's just a kid right over there walking on a on the sidewalk. Like, it's just a public pond. Little body of water. Some fishes around it. Some old fishes around it. All right, let's move to the next one. See what we can find. We marked it, so menu, forward range. That was a really good one, too. Really good pile. Awesome. Found this brush pile, started talking to you about it. It, uh, my camera died. Anyway, so we, here's one, and it's in 16 foot of water. Um, fish aren't surrounding it, but they could be down inside of it, for sure. So we're we'll gonna drift that jig down to them. We already know jigs are a little tough for on this lake. These little private lakes are like that. These, there's quite a bit of artificial structure out here. Got him. Got him. That's a nice one, guys. If that's a crappie, that's a nice one. Yeah, not a bad crappie. It's a black. Man, those blacks can hammer. Those black crappie can... Man, they can flat out get it. There's a whole bunch right here. We're marking this spot for sure. I don't know why they're here. But there's a bunch of them. You can see the crappie all over the screen, guys. I mean, there's tons of them. They're just real reluctant to hit this jig. And this jig's really small. It's a small profile bait. Um, 1 16th with a stinger tail shad on there. And it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't spook them or anything. It should, you know, pro it should mimic something they would want to eat. It does. I mean, we're still catching. That's a good one. Look at that one. We're still catching on it. It's just, uh, whatever they're eating for their main food is just not as similar looking to this you know this profile of this bait um, so you know they're they're checking it out that's for sure they're not they're not sure about it oh wow i don't know why they're all around this red ball they are i don't know if that's blue girl probably we'll find out Do our best to see what we got down here. It's hard to figure it out. Got him. Crappy dog. Yes, sir. Yeah. Release itself. That's fine. Either way, he was going back in, so it didn't matter. Got him. Fish on, guys. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, green carp. That's what I kind of figured. I figured if I got up shallow, I was gonna catch a bass. Oh, I hate these things. Make a cheesy Instagram picture with that thing. That's what you get. Cheesy Instagram photos with bass. Tons of them. All right, well, we got the rocks and we know it's just bass hanging out here. That ain't what we want. All right, then. Let's go look. I got all the information off this pond I need, so I'm calling it a day. Thank you guys for watching.